So my name is Matt Dancho. I am the founder of Business Science, and I'm a data scientist. I've been doing data science primarily in business and finance since, I'll say around like two, 2013, before it was really called like data science, I'll say. Great, how did you become involved with data science? So uh, my story is a little bit unique. Um, I'm actually a mechanical engineer by trade, and so that's what I went to school for. And um, about, I'll say, 2012, 2013 timeframe, I got a new position at my job where I was, originally I was managing some engineer, the engineering team, which you know is I'm very familiar with, of course. But um, in this new role, I was getting thrust into sales. So in addition to managing the engineering end, I was managing now this new sales group, which, um, to be honest, I knew nothing about. So me knowing nothing about this new role and kind of and actually being, to be quite honest, a little bit scared, um, I tried to figure out where I could add value. And what I found was, um, and I'd actually been just started taking my MBA at the time. Mm -hmm. And in my MBA schoolwork, I was doing all of the analytics work for my team. Um, so when we'd have these group assignments, I'd, I'd be the one in Excel, just plugging away, trying to you know get the insights out so we can put our reports together. And, and you know that's kind of the role that I fit. So quite naturally, I decided to focus on data analysis and analytics. And I just started trying to, to do that, to add value, basically analyzing sales patterns, um, trying to link, you know, because we would do quotes and try to figure out which ones would turn into orders, you know, which customers were having the highest hit rates and, and those sorts of things. So that's, that's really how I got into it. And that was back in 2013-ish, I'll say. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Thanks for sharing that. So uh, Matt, I think you've done something that many people dream of. You've left your job and you started your own business. Yes. So talk more about that. I know you, you wrote an article recently called How I Started My Data Science Business, but give us the, the highlights, please. Sure. So first off, this is super exciting. It's been a dream of mine, and I know it's a dream for many people um, that are really excited and passionate about uh, data science. Uh, for me, data science education, that's my passion. So um, how, how did I get into it? Well, first, first off, I just recently quit my job. So actually last Friday was my last day. Um, so yesterday was my first full-time day on uh, the business science team. Um, but yeah, so to be, to be honest, it's been something that I've been working on. As I mentioned back in 2013, when I started getting into data science, that's really when I started to also learn uh, the programming language called R. And this, it was a life changing experience for me. So it was kind of weird how I got into it, but um, the, in, in the article, I show kind of my progression. It started with learning R and really trying to solve a problem with that I was having with Excel. So Excel kept breaking um, when I'd get too large of a file. So, mm -hmm. You know, me at the time, I was just trying to download and then try to, um, I'd, I'd create a query that would pull in all of the sales data. And as I would try and increase the size of that, meaning go back farther and farther in time, the file sizes just got bigger and bigger and bigger. And eventually Excel wouldn't open up, but I needed that. I wanted that data um, to be able to analyze what I was doing. So initially I started learning R because Excel broke on me and I needed to have something, a tool that I could use to um, to really be able to slice and dice data. Um, I tried Python out, but it, it really just wasn't you know working for me. Um, it, it felt more like coding, and R just felt like more natural um, mm -hmm. for a, a engineer that was you know has, has had a lot of courses on statistics and, and data analysis, but never really coding. So I got into R that way. I got into the business. Um, after I created an R package called TidyQuant, and that just went viral. Um, it, uh, I think as of now, it's probably been downloaded around 60,000 times. Wow. It's, it's used by most financial um, institution, institutions that use R. So yeah. companies like you know, S&P Global, uh, 
you know, it just, just a lot of the, a lot of the big companies, um, they have data scientists that are using it. So that's pretty cool. That is cool. Um, once I released that though, within about a few months, I started getting inquiries for, you know, requests to build software, do kind of odd jobs by mainly by the, uh, it was from early adopters of the, of the package of software. And, uh, and that's how business science started. So that was about a year. Um, I, I released tidy quant, uh, end of 2016 and by February of 2017, I had formed business science, the LLC. Hmm. So. Great. And I know, uh, you, you mentioned you're passionate about educating others on data science and you've launched uh, business science university. So I'd love to hear more about how that came about and what are your goals for that, for that side of the company? So business science university grew out of my passion for education and also me seeing as I was working with clients, um, we would always run into this problem where they would just hire a, a group of data scientists and then they would um, pull us in to kind of help work with them on maybe a specific project. And we, we always saw that there was this kind of disconnect between the data science team and what the organization was trying to accomplish. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, this, this approach that they were using of just hiring a bunch of data scientists all at once and then trying to, you know, really just gain insights out of it, it wasn't working. So there was, there was kind of like this gap that existed. Mm -hmm. And what I felt that I could help with is I, I've got a ton of experience with working, you know, many years in a business. Um, also, now I had been gaining experience working with other businesses and seeing how they operate and seeing how, you know, the, the um, different approaches seem to be a little bit more successful. So mm -hmm. what, what we do or when we were consulting was ROI driven data science, meaning we were always in pursuit of providing some sort of return on investment and actually showing the company like with, with financial figures um, if they implement our system that we propose and our algorithms and, and it helps them make better decisions this is the expected financial benefit mm -hmm. so teaching how teaching came into that is we said all right well we can do we can impact you know a few organizations this way you know working with them one-on-one -on -one, but really what we could do is impact a lot more organizations and more, and more importantly, make data scientists more of an asset to the company right. by teaching them the tools that we already knew how to do through our own <clears throat> trial and error process. So the, the, the education, um, the institution is Business Science University, and we started it back in, I'll say, just the beginning of this year. Mm -hmm. uh, and since then, we've released one course, and it's done outstandingly well. Um, the metric that I follow is customer satisfaction, or I should say student satisfaction. Yeah. But basically it's, it's at a very high level. It's about a nine out of 10. And um, what that tells me is that, and, and, they, and they answer the survey after about two chapters of the 10 chapter course, mm -hmm. but it's like two weeks in, they're just kind of getting the feel and that gives me a sense for you know whether or not they're going to continue on with the course how much they're enjoying the course whether or not they're gaining value out of it quickly and that to me is the metric that matters most that um has, has really made me kind of happy about what we're doing and all kind of made me quit my job to say <laughs> to, to be honest because you know i really enjoy doing it and i'm getting good results uh, in terms of customer satisfaction great I, i'm very happy to hear that people are enjoying your course and i wanted to ask where can people find now uh, more information about this course so um if they go to university.business-science.io or they can go to they can just google business science university or uh, could google business science and then we have a link at the top of the um of, of our, our website mm -hmm. with the university on it so those are kind of the ways that they could get to it and as soon as they get on there there's a video it's one minute long <clears throat> excuse me and that really tells the exact story of like what we are trying to do, which is in teach students how to, how to do an end to end data science project uh, in about 10 weeks, teaching them all of the tools they need to learn, all of the, um, the frameworks that we used to impl implement with our consulting program and really 
teaches them how to do ROI driven data science the way that we did it with our consultant with, with our consulting. Um, and this company. is all online, right? Anybody from anywhere can access this. And anybody can access it. It's um, all self paced. It's a um, I, I say it takes 10 weeks. But that's that's at kind of like the average pace of, of maybe a chapter a week or so. Okay. Um, and it takes about five to ten hours or so per week is is probably the commitment that you're looking at. Yeah, that's pretty good for people who are still working or have you know other things going on. They can still handle. Yes, yeah, and that's and that's the idea. Is yeah. you know it's not a full time thing. It's something that you can do in your spare time. But it's something that if you do it, it's going to transform you. You're going to be a lot better than than when you started. Great. And speaking of spare time, uh, the last question I had for you today was, what do you do in your spare time um, that's not data related? Okay, so not data related. Um, as we were talking before the show, I um, am a new father. Uh, I have a six month old. So I've been spending a lot of time, um, you know, just trying to uh, grow our family and, and really be part of, of the family. And that's actually one of the, the leading drivers of my decision to, um, to quit my job was, in addition to it being my passion and having good results so far, um, I get to work from home and I get to, you know, have every meal with my family and it's just, you know, it's, it's really a dream come true. Yeah, definitely. I, I can understand that. Um, uh, well, Matt, thank you so much for being on Humans of Data Science. I, I wish you all the best with business science, with Business Science University and all other aspects of all things business science. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. This was amazing. I, I, a fan of your show and humans of data science. It's, it's awesome. So.